Oh, 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 hey. Oh. Well, hey, guys. Happy, uh, happy man versus dog food. No Eddie today. We're a little sad about that. Um, but we do have some great news for you today. We, are, we have a, a great special. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about our Coda Kibble project. Uh, we're going to reach out to Chad for Thank You Thursday. I know he was plugging away, working on some new projects back at the mill. And uh, we're going to do a little Q&A today. Uh, since there's no one here to compete with, um, I'm going to do a Q&A with, with you guys. So um, as everyone joins in, uh, just be ready to, uh, to ask questions if you have them. That's the wrong banner. Um, see, Eddie's not here, and it's already it's already halfway falling apart, but we're going to keep it together pretty well. Um, so to start today, uh, the Coda Kibble Project. And uh, just kind of curious to know um, who all has tried uh, anything from the Coda Kibble Project or a My Custom Dog Food product. Uh, would love to hear a little bit about it. And then I'm going to go over specifically the first uh, Coda Kibble Project recipe, which is the grain-free salmon recipe. I think it's this one right here. So everything's reversed. So it's a little trickier. So that's our grain-free salmon. And we've added a lot of goodies to it. And so we're going to discuss uh, a little bit about why we put what we put on the outside, how we chose those, and then kind of what some of our future plans are with the Coda Kibble Project. So um, would love to know a little bit about who all is on. So if you are watching, please let us know because I am going to be taking some questions here in a little bit. Um, let me pull one thing up here. I don't know about anybody else, but it does not feel terrible outside. Um, it uh -huh. is, uh, I want to say it's like 88 degrees uh, here in this area, which is uh, Denton. Um, and then let's see. We do have a coupon code. Uh, we will be giving it away shortly uh, for people to get started. And we would love to sell out of these. We also have another coupon code from the day before. Uh, Allie, if you're watching, do you want to drop in that coupon code? Uh, so we have a uh, uh, some chicken bites that were in five ounce containers that we will no longer be producing. Uh, we're going to keep them in a 16 ounce container. Uh, the five ounce container, honestly, was just getting a little bit hard to keep up with. It was not super efficient to to ship, and we are uh, we're trying to get all that shifted over into. Uh, you know, really rolling with the 16 ounce containers exclusively. Um, so for some reason, some of these comments aren't rolling in for me. So I'm going to try and answer them from a uh, another uh, platform here. So hello, Sue Ann. And yes, those are some good pictures. Who sees the pictures that were painted back here? Who knows what animal that is? That is a turtle. All right, uh, looks like we've got Chad in the waiting room, so he'll be in here shortly for Thank You Thursday. Uh, Chad, you just give me the thumbs up when you're ready. We're going to jump straight into that. And uh, let's see, no code for the cell in the five ounce container. Wait, there's no code on the five ounce container. They are just straight up on sale. So the five ounce uh, chicken bites are only $5.99 until they're gone. And I think we uh, we put them on sale yesterday uh, and sold through like 80% of them. So there's only a few left. Um, so uh, be quick on that. The, uh, the next thing that'll be on sale are probably some of the beef bites, five ounce containers. So be sure to keep watching the five ounce chicken containers. You know, Chad may even have some of those five ounce uh, beef or chicken bites on him. We're gonna find out here in a second. Uh, if we have any left. So why don't we go ahead and bring Chad in. Chad. What's up, dude? How are we? I guess I can say what's up, bro, huh? It, you can say what's up, bro. It's a, it's, uh, it's kosher. It is kosher, isn't it? Yes, sir. Well, uh, do you have one of the five-ounce chicken bites on you by any chance? The five-ounce chicken bites? I was checking. I heard you talking about it. I was checking the... Uh, checking the shelves in here and we're sold out we're sold out 
¿Alguna I can find some. Oh my god. Let me look out here in the warehouse to see if I got some. Oh my. I thought we still had like 50 or 60 left, but if we're out, I got bad information out. Oh, oh, oh. Let me find them. I'm looking. Uh, I got beef bites, but I don't have chicken bites, bro. Out of chicken bites. Oh, man. What did you do? What no, did I do? Hang on. Hang on. You found some. Found a box. You've got one box left? That's what it looks like. Oh, boy. Well. What you do? What did you do? We, we may have put them on sale at 65% off to clearance them out. Oh, my. Uh, one thing I would recommend everyone doing is hanging on to the containers because they make great refill containers. So then you can order the 16 ounce bag and fill it up, right, Chad? That's right. Hey, here we are. There they are. I got 12, and yeah, I got about 20 of them left. About 20 left. About 20 left. So, uh, Trina cannot find them on the website, says they're not. Uh, she's having a little trouble finding them, so I'm gonna look too. Actually, I got a couple more. Well, I got I had a couple boxes sitting here on the floor open. So well, I wonder if they've already been sold and we just haven't packed them up yet. Is that a possibility? It that could be a possibility. That's uh, the guys the guys packing internet orders bringing them over to me. They heard, right. they heard me out looking for them. It shows we have 24 in stock, but it did remove them from the it did remove the five ounce for some reason. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to get that figured out after this because that's not working the way it was supposed to. <laughs> what? Yeah, the website is showing that they are out of five-ounce chicken bites. Oh, man. So maybe you've already got some orders in. We'll find out. We've got orders. Okay. Hey, speaking of orders, I got our Thank You Thursday. Thank You Thursday? What do we got? Thank You Thursday. We got this, uh, well... I'm not. I'm gonna mispronounce the name Galaki, Galakiki, and uh, they get our. I almost named Nolan. Do what? That's what I almost named Nolan. Galakiki. Yeah. 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 It was before neck and neck. Hey, as his godfather, I'm glad you didn't, because I could <laughs> never pronounce that. There you go. So we got. Uh, they get our chicken meal recipe. They get two of them every four weeks. So, what should we give them? We've, we've already sold all our chicken bites. We're talking about in the office. I think uh, it uh, looks like they've got Doberman. So, I'm thinking we'll probably give them the digestive and maybe the calming, the Dr. Verwares, huh? Oh, I think that's a good idea. What about, uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Why don't we throw in a beef liver treat, maybe a 16 ouncer up there that we're about to clearance out? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. We'll throw in the beef liver. This is this is the next the next week. The rest of this month is the month of clearance of old freeze dried items. Hey, hey, Savannah, there. Hey, yeah, Savannah's here. Can I say hi What's to Savannah? Savannah? Yeah. Hey, Savannah. Hi. Savannah writes so many notes, so many thank you notes. She's Savannah, the favorite. Who's your favorite customer, Savannah? Kathleen Conley. Who? Kathleen Conley. You were supposed to say you don't have a favorite. Sorry. <laughs> All right, well, Kathleen, who, who yeah. Kathleen is, she must be special. Kathleen, you are the favorite if you are watching. So shout out to Kathleen Conley. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, we don't have Eddie today, so we are working on getting a, a little Q&A uh, fired up. So if anybody does have questions, please bump those in. And then, Chad, if you could walk us over to the Coda Kibble Project. We were going to kind of run through that real quick. You want to... Uh, you want, some of the, you want to show some of the Cody Kibble bags? Yeah, I don't think we've shown them the dog yet. I know we showed the cat, but I don't know if we've really gone over the dog yet. Hey, man, I found another box of chicken bites. Man, somebody bought a whole case of them. A whole case? Well, there was no limit on it, so uh, that's very possible. All right, here's our Cody Kibble from the dog side. Coated Kibble from the dog side. Very cool. What? Whoa. Go back to that window. See how that's not just a regular brown kibble there? There is all kinds of goodies on it. Uh, one of the first ones you'll see, probiotic. 
And what's interesting about the Code of Kibble, the, the probiotics that are on there, they're actually put on way past extrusion. So not only has the food been cooked, uh, the food has also been cooled and it is waiting to be tumbled with all these awesome ingredients. And so when you put a probiotic on post cook, you're going to have uh, essentially 100% availability of that probiotic, which means if, if, uh, if we say we're putting it in there, it's going to be in there. Um, the other thing you're going to see is dried salmon. So the dried salmon is the, uh, what color is the dried salmon, Chad? It's so kind of a, a yellowish color. Yellowish pinkish color. Is that a thing? Yeah. We're both colorblind. Uh, so we could certainly use some help from uh, our Facebook family. But all we know is that's salmon. Um, that is salmon. It, uh, it's got a nice aroma to it as well. And so adding the salmons, uh, we're adding a very nice lean protein. And one of the benefits of adding multiple proteins to the kibble is you get different amino acid structures. And an amino acid is basically what proteins are broken down into, and they all serve a purpose. And so uh, as, if any of you have ever studied nutrition, um, you've obviously heard the word essential amino acid, which means the body has to have it to run, has to have it to operate. You know what I've never heard of, Chad? What's that? An essential carbohydrate. You no, know, I, I don't think that's in the dictionary, Mitch. So just one more reason we need to be feeding our dogs meat. Um, now, moving on from the dried salmon, we've also got bone broth. Uh, what does bone broth do for the dog? So bone broth is essentially going to be uh, the liquid that has been dried out into a powder. And bone broth has got many, many wonderful properties, uh, especially for uh, anti-inflammatory, uh, great for the digestive system, and uh, ideal for helping build uh, strong joints. So uh, bone broth is a great ingredient, uh, really helps support the immune system. So if you have a dog that gets sick a lot, uh, definitely want to having bone broth. Uh, it's one of the great things to help a dog recover from being sick. And then uh, also helps repair leaky gut. So if you have a dog that's having digestive issues, uh, you, you definitely want to look into uh, adding some bone broth to the food. So um, after bone broth, this is, you know, this is one of Chad's favorite things to put in his coffee. Chad, why don't you tell us, about, tell us about the coconut oil? Coconut oil? I yeah. like putting that in my coffee too. So that's a, uh, that's a medium chain, train, medium chain triglyceride. So it's going to help the brain function. It's going to provide some skin, you know, my beautiful skin from, the beautiful from skin. all my coconut oil. Yeah. And, and y'all should enjoy Chad's face while you can see it, because here in, in about two months, when October hits, it's going to start to slowly get turned into this giant chia pet. And we won't <laughs> see it anymore. There you go. So uh, I, I, that's when I really start eating the omega 3s, the salmon, you know, get that salmon oil and coconut oil. It'll start to glisten. Uh, that's right. And then we, and, and we've also got freeze dried beef bites in it. So. Yep. The freeze dried beef bites are awesome because you've got not just, it's not just freeze dried beef, but it's a mixture of different parts of the beef. So it's beef heart, uh, beef liver, beef tripe. Um, what else we got in there, Chad? Beef heart, beef tripe, beef liver. Uh, we got some uh, mm -hmm. beef collagen as well. Yeah, no, uh, what all is part of the beef bite is what I was trying to get to. Oh, vitamins and minerals. Yeah, we got all oh. vitamins and minerals, so it's a complete bite. So you've got uh, vitamins and nutrition that are also on the outside of the, the kibble. So yeah, you're really just going to have a, a, a very complete and balanced product. And um, you're, you're really going to be feeding something that the dog just loves the flavor of. And so we have a special today, the Code of Kibble Project. So if you use coupon code TCKP30, you're going to get 30% off your first bag of the Cody Kibble Project. Actually, I don't know if there's even a limit, Allie. Uh, maybe Allie can fill us in and tell us if there's a limit on it. I don't think that there is. Um, you should be able to order as many of them as you want. And so uh, if you haven't tried the Cody Kibble Project, I would absolutely try it. Um, Vivian is asking if we mix the kibble with the dry food. So the, the kibble has the freeze dried mixed into it already, Vivian. And uh, I'll tell you, dogs just absolutely love it. Um, Kelly says her pups need some of this, which is great. And then we've got, is bone broth good for cats too? Says Kelly. Yes, absolutely. Bone broth is good for cats uh, by nature. Cats 
almost 100% carnivore, and they definitely would chow down on some bones. Um, Eric saying he wishes uh, he could get some of this on the East Coast. Well, Eric, we are working on that. Or D. Eric, we are working on that. Uh, we did just open up a new distributor um, that's going to go Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, and then uh, next month we'll have distribution all the way through the Midwest up into uh, Minnesota and Michigan. So very, very close. We're starting to expand distribution and really help these uh, independent pet food stores because that's who we prefer to work with. You don't find us in a lot of mass retailers. Um, you know, if you if you want Munster, uh, you do have to go local or you have to go online. So we, we do like to support our independent retailers. They're uh, kind of the backbone of what we do. So, Chad, what are you working on there? Hey, I, you're talking about local. We got some of our ancient grain harvest going on right here. Well, let's wait. Where did that come from? What? Yeah. Now, well, how we that, got, uh, how'd that got grain, grain from that orange box, Chad? That orange box? Well, there's a line that goes all the way up, goes out the building, onto the scale. We got some trucks coming in. They're bringing their grain to us. And we got, uh, we got some grain sorghum right here. We got some red grain sorghum. Let me work this camera a little better. So that is fresh grain sorghum from the field uh, within, you know, probably what, three miles of Munster? Yeah, probably so. Let's just see here. You want to know how fresh it was, Mitch? I tell, I you, how, I tell you how hot it was. Well, let's, let's, oh, you can tell me how hot it is? Yeah. Well, let's hear it. Well, here we go. Wait for it. Survey says, hang on. We're still waiting. Yep. Hang on. 95 degrees. Last time I checked, it's about 95 degrees outside. Doesn't get much fresher than that. And so uh, what are you testing it for right there before you dump it? We test it for moisture. And, you know, we're going to test the, the form material in it. We're going to test it for mycotoxins as well. And what is a mycotoxin, Chad? A mycotoxin is something like aflatoxin that can be harmful to dogs. So it it uh, it can be prevalent in lagoon seeds. Uh, some of our uh, most of our grains grown around here don't don't really get affected by it, but the milo and corn will will have some off aflatoxin in it. And so we we check that. We don't use any corn in our dog foods, but uh, we use some of our dairy feeds, or we used to use it in our dairy feeds. We got some cattle feeds and some horse feeds that we use it in. Um, but the, the grain sorghum, we do it as a check. We check the uh, aflatoxin on there, make sure that it doesn't carry through. So we're not dumping any grain into storage to use for dog food until we have tested it and it is cleared. And then you also yep. test everything after you make it before we ship it out. So we're yep. testing all the ingredients and the final product and we're buying it local. Yep. All good things. It's almost like we can do what the big guys can do, but they can't do what we can do, huh? That's right. That's right. So, okay. Uh, Allie just let me know that she got the chicken bites back on the website, the five ounce chicken bites, and there are 24 of them left at $5.99. So only 24 left. Yesterday when we started the day, I think we had 368. Uh, so those things are moving quick. Uh, this is a 65% off discount. So I do recommend that you move quickly. And then again, save those jars and use them for treats as you order more uh, so that you got an easy way to get into them. Um, and then let's see. So we've gone over all of the Coda Kibble project. Uh, we've got the coupon out there, uh, ECK P30. And I believe Chad only made a limited run of those as well. Yep, we uh, we made about two hundred bags there. So we made about two hundred bags on this last batch. Yep. I don't, I don't even know if we have them set up for uh, auto ship yet. Yes, we do. So if you want to see where to find the Coded Kibble Project on our website, all you have to do I'm going to show you real quick. Oh, this silly. I've got a, a new computer here. We're not going to be able to do a screen share right now. So all kinds of uh, fun stuff with uh, computer issues. Uh, thanks, Eddie. If you're if you're watching, uh, which I don't think you are, but when you watch it next week, 
Just know we didn't forget about you. Um, and he's out on vacation, right? Yeah, he is. Uh, hopefully he comes back with a nice tan next week and remember to put plenty of coconut oil on the top of his head. <laughs> Only if he wants it to be extra crispy. Oh, hey, you know, can you find Jason? Jason? Yeah, I can find Jason. I think we should. Find I think we should talk a little bit about our uh, hip and joint supplement because Jason had a heck of a, uh, a That's story. That's right. We said we, said we were going to talk to Jason. Yes. Yes, we did. Let me find him. And I'm a little bit hungry because uh, I've been yep. on the road all day and I actually was able to get back in a little bit early. So you going to eat, so, eat a little coated kibble? You know, I'm just, I'm just going to snack on a meatball here. Yeah. One of my favorites still. Uh oh. He heard you coming, huh? Luis, what are you working on? You know where Jason is? Yeah. Oh, man. We don't have Jason. I think, right. he, I think he's over at the freeze dried. Over at the freeze dried, checking on the carrots, probably, huh? Yep, checking on the carrots, sweet potatoes, and cranberries. There we go. And well, Luis loves eating the cranberries and the apples. I bet he does. Uh, this big, big cause of shrink over there. I bet so. I'm glad we're on Carnivore Month. He doesn't touch the beef liver anymore. <laughs> well, um, any any notes? Any final uh, touch points for the fans? Chat? Anything else you want to uh, send them off with? I, I don't have anything off the top of my head, Mitch. Yeah. What? Oh, I messed up. Alfred's not here, and we're just falling apart. Oh, yeah. Where's my thank you Thursday? Yep. Hang on. Thank you Thursday with Chad. There we go. We'll Beautiful. Use, we'll I love it. Sign as a sign off this time. Uh, there you go. All right, All right. man. Sounds good. Thanks, Take Chad. Care, bro. Later. Yep. All right. So uh, before we wind down, does anyone have any questions about the Cody Kibble project or about um, ordering a customized food? I have to apologize. Typically, the comments pop up here on my uh, my little StreamYard portal, and I can kind of see and click on them and then see what they are. But I had to log into another computer uh, next to me to try and refresh, and it's been a little bit tricky to get them all loaded up. So I'm not seeing them as well today. Uh, so if you did send a question and I didn't see it, I do apologize. But I'm going to hit refresh one more time. Let's see here. Looks like we have some more. Okay, Colleen Rose says, I worry about feeding yellow peas and green peas to large breed dogs and the cardiomyopathy issues, your thoughts. So I would love to talk about that, Colleen. So um, one, we did a lot of research before we came out with Green Free. And so we were actually one of the last grain-free dog foods on the market because no one knew what grain-free really meant. Uh, we just knew that there were dog foods out there that had grain-free, but we didn't really know what was going on. And so we spent quite a time, quite a bit of time studying it. Uh, we worked with our veterinarians, we worked with our um, nutritionists, and uh, basically we found a lot of information and did some studies, and it showed us that nothing happens to the absorption of taurine in the intestines or in the gut unless you get over 27% legumes. And so all of our diets are 18% or less, so well under 33%, along with the fact that we've always put taurine in the food too. And so uh, you, you really, when you start to have an issue with um, legumes causing a problem in a dog food is when you put way too much of it, just like anything else. If you put too much rice in a dog food, you're gonna have problems. If you put too much corn in a dog food, you're gonna have issues. Uh, if you put too much Heck, you could put too much grain sorghum in it and have an issue. So most of our diets, you'll notice, typically have a pretty good variety of ingredients in there because we don't want to oversaturate one single carbohydrate. We try to have a nice little variety there so that we do get the benefit of having some of the variety there. Just like we want to switch amino acid profiles up by, by changing different meats and adding different things to the outside of the kibble, uh, we get some of the same benefit from the carbohydrate structure. And, and almost every other dog food uh, on the market actually had an issue with their grain-free dog food, we had zero cases, not even one complaint. So we are 100% confident in our dog food. Uh, you know, my dog ate the, the grain-free diet for the last several years of her life and had no heart issues. So, um, you know, it's it's one of the one of the best foods on the market. 
uh, taken into account that we're also adding all these wonderful ingredients in the outside of it. A really, really healthy food. So uh, thanks for the question, Colleen. Um, yes, Jesse, hooray for, uh, for new technology. That's exactly right. Um, let's see what else we have here. It's just not super easy to scroll through these for some reason. Let me try one more thing. I think I found it. Okay, uh, Allie wants to put the beef bites on sale as well before we sign off. So maybe we're going to go ahead and do that too. Uh, Sabs, where can we order it? Can't find it on the website. Um, so all you going to do is type in the chicken bites to find the chicken bites. And then the Coded Kibble Project, just type in Coded Kibble in the search bar up there. Uh, Love Bone Broth, does Coded have turmeric in it? Asked Trina. No, it does not have turmeric in it. Uh, not yet. We are working on that and, and testing it. Um, so if you if you have some insight on that, please let us know. And oh, we had a couple Savannah uh, Savannah fans there that I'll get the uh, the notes from her. Um, Vivian says the toppers were a game changer. Uh, Stephanie's ordered uh, her second bag of the Coda Kibble. Okay. All right. Well, um, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, we'll have uh, we'll have Eddie back in here next week, and that'll be a lot of fun. And um, yeah, we're going to call it on that. So uh, again, sorry the the technology wasn't quite operating the way we wanted it to today. The, the comments weren't pulling in, so it, it made it a little bit clunky. But uh, please go use that code T C T C K P the Coded Kibble Project then the number 30, and you'll get 30% off uh, on your on your order today. So, um, And then let us know what you think of it. And then I guess lastly, if you've tried our uh, food, we'd love it if you'd leave a review on our website and on Facebook. Thank you so much. and go join the My Custom Dog Food group.